G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. I'll also talk to you about underfloor ventilation. So what we did was a mechanical underfloor ventilation system here and it's worked absolutely spot on along with all of the other little bits of pieces of the puzzle that we've worked on to make sure that we've been able to get the best result for these customers and ensure that when we've got these floors down throughout the place that the moisture from underneath isn't going to start reacting with the floor and making it pop uh, or bow or snap crackle pop. What we've got is the old urban sprawl with the blue stone laneways along the back. Um, a lot of the stormwater from the neighbours is just falling into the blue stone laneway or onto the ground and then into the stormwater. They don't actually they don't actually run in a stormwater system. They just expect the stormwater from the gutters except in drain systems to be picking up all that stormwater or additional water. So it's super important that we get all of those bits of the pieces of puzzle to work together for our advantage. So step with me and ch 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 check it out. So what we've got, we've put this new vent in across here. This new vent system is a 200 mil duct. You can see it also here as well. We've put it onto a timer and what it entails is the tail end of this vent goes outside to a external vent system then we've got the motor and it runs across here and then we branch it we've branched it underneath towards the kitchen we've also branched it and we've put wire connectors on you can see a wire connector here and from those wire connectors we've is that wherever we've got this area to dry out that the motor can handle such an area. We actually double sized it. So we've got 70 square meters that we need to ventilate. We've actually got a motor that does 140 square meters. We've upsized the ducting and we've also making sure that we don't overcompensate, but at the same time, getting the best amount of ventilation that we can. Because it's an old corner shop, there's no actual external vents except for the old brick terracotta and they were only one and a half bricks in size. What we really wanna do is make sure we get a lot of air in. So we've put in two of these ventilation systems. At the same time, we've dug a lot of soil out and then we've also got underfloor insulation, which we put into almost every single home we do now. It's not gonna stop the moisture 100% from sitting against the boards, but it's going to give a barrier between the floorboard and any moisture that comes up from the ground. You can see also, this ground is really dried up. We've got some a few cracks coming through now, which is a great thing for us. That shows that what we've done, making sure that the floor is well ventilated at the same time as being dry. We'll step over here, you can also have a look. We've checked our pipes. I've just dug this out so you could have a look. This is an old sewerage pipe, but there's a little bit of moisture around that pipe, but it's only because water's a little bit lazy in the aspect where wherever it's soft, it'll run. But it's also a big pain because wherever it's got a small weak point, it will follow. Underfloor insulation, obviously, throughout. You can see one of the ends of our venting systems here. So one of those ducts come in here and it'll dry out this area. Soil being soil, we've talked about soil a number of times before. Soil being soil, what happens is the soil then contracts and so cracks and things happen and things can move. So you need to be cautious when we do extensions of renos of the way that we do that. This is an old house that's, sorry, this is an old corner shop that's between 90 and 120 years old and next door is a brand new build all the way through. So the foundation on this side of the wall will only be a short foundation, whereas next door they'll put some new foundations through that'll be quite substantial. Also what's happened next door is because they've got this light well, the soil that they've got there, the permeable soil, is against this existing brick wall. So that then allows moisture to come through this very small, short foundation brickwork. And then it, that will, if we don't take the proper steps, that moisture can then get into this bearer joy system and rot it and we can have the same problem again in another seven years. That's what we do not want. So what we're going to do is we're going to ensure that our that our customers get really well taken care of for the longevity of their home for another two or three generations at least or until somebody decides that they want to renovate this whole area so that's all i've got for you this week 
And until next time, thanks for watching and like always, stay awesome.